Some have called it his second abdication. Others condemned it as an escape from justice. Spain's former king, Juan Carlos, has left the country as corruption allegations against him continue to pile up. The 82-year-old said he didn't want his personal affairs to affect the reign of his son, King Felipe. Guided by the conviction to best serve the people of Spain, its institutions and you as king, I inform you of my decision at this time to go into exile outside Spain. It's a decision I take with deep anguish but great peace of mind. Juan Carlos is under investigation in Spain and Switzerland for his involvement in a $7 billion rail project in Saudi Arabia. The ex-monarch allegedly received $100 million from late Saudi King Abdullah for awarding Spanish firms a high-speed rail contract to link the Muslim holy cities of Mecca and Medina. He reportedly transferred the money into a Panamanian foundation Swiss bank account in 2008 and gave most of it to a former mistress. To distance himself from his father, King Felipe stripped him of his $235,000 annual royal grant and renounced his own inheritance this year. Before abdicating in 2014 over previous scandals, Juan Carlos was celebrated for leading Spain from dictatorship to democracy in the late 1970s. His surprise exit has left the country divided. I think it's very sad that somebody who did so much for democracy for this country ends his reign like this. I really deplore this. If he has to leave, let him leave. But before he goes, he should return the money he stole in Spain because it belongs to the Spaniards and we really need it for very important things like the health system and other things. Juan Carlos has left the country at a critical time. Spain has experienced one of Europe's worst coronavirus outbreaks and recorded the bloc's deepest economic contraction of 18.5 percent in the second quarter. As the Spaniards look for ways to deal with the crisis, the former king is believed to have fled to the Dominican Republic. Juan Carlos isn't considered a fugitive as he hasn't officially been charged. Spanish monarchs enjoy immunity from prosecution during their reign. But the ex-king's abdication could leave him vulnerable to prosecution. Sibel Karkos, TRT World. Well, for more on this, Roger Evans joins us now from Barcelona. He is an author and is currently writing a book on the Spanish royal family. Welcome to Money Talks, Roger. Now, as we heard there, Juan Carlos is no stranger to controversy, is he? Can you tell us more about some of the more recent scandals he's been embroiled in? Well, a great deal has been known about his, his financial dealings for years, but uh, the nature of the media in Spain is such that uh, they don't report these things very much. Uh, he is known to have uh, received... Um, a cut on all oil uh, imported into the, into Spain from at least the Emirates and the and Saudi Arabia uh, since the Franco administration, uh, Franco dictatorship. It's not known when that ended. It was going on at least during the 90s. Still, uh, that was uh, uh, journalists and economists say that that ranged between $1 and $2 per barrel, which amounts to many millions of dollars, of course, over many years. Uh, so none of this was admitted to the people. As for his fear of prosecution, it's not at all clear that he has anything to fear from the Spanish authorities because they've known about all this always. Uh, and these things are, have not been reported in the Spanish media. They have been everywhere else. So uh, uh, your, report, your reporter mentioned truly that uh, the son has tried to distance himself. And he probably has a good, good deal more to uh, uh, not fear necessarily, but to respect in his son's wishes. Uh, it's known, of course, that the, the, the king and, the, and Queen Sophia, the former king and Queen Sophia, are in an open and extreme rift and have been for a long time. Uh, and the king, the present king, Felipe, is always considered to be much closer to the mother. So uh, a lot of this could be family business. You know, uh, the, the king
King Felipe also has deprived his, his younger sister of uh, her titles over scandals that did not involve um, um, uh, conviction of her. Okay. So, uh, Roger, this can is I, partly uh, a, can this I just is jump in there? Partly um, a family. Sorry to interrupt you, yes. but uh, we're just running out of time. But in June, it all seems to have come to a head when uh, Spain's Supreme Court launched an investigation into uh, this deal uh, that was mentioned in the story. The fact that uh, a Spanish consortium won a $7 billion contract to build a high-speed rail link between uh, the Saudi cities of Mecca and Medina. Can you tell us what... Juan Carlos has been accused of in this instance? Well, there was a, I believe it's been admitted in the, uh, uh, because the Swiss press took this up, that $100 million are said to have been given to the king as a reward for uh, negotiating this contract and seeing that Spain gave it to Saudi Arabia. And then uh, he's said to have given $65 million to a former mistress, uh, she she admits this. So uh, the people, even though it wasn't reported in the Spanish press, uh, the Spanish authorities' hands may have been forced by foreign. Uh, the uh, Telegraph in London has been very active in this, for example, but especially the Swiss who are threatening to prosecute him. Now, as you say, his son and successor, Felipe, has really tried to remedy the situation, stripping uh, the king of his annual stipend, uh, saying that he'll disavow himself of any inheritance that he'll receive from his father. Do, do you think the Spanish royal family can survive this latest scandal? Well, lawyers have pointed out repeatedly that one cannot renounce uh, an inheritance until it comes into effect. So that has no legal standing. And if his own situation, which appears to be quite dire, were to continue to deteriorate, he would be in the same situation his, that his great-grandfather, his grandfather, and his father were in, in which the Spanish royal family has always been considered poor, but not only by royal standards, but by the standards of moneyed Spaniards. So they have taken what they could get sometimes. And as your show says, money talks. <laughs> it sure does. OK, Roger Evans, thank you so much for shedding some light on that situation for us from Barcelona.